Okay, hi guys, so just here, coming at you again with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. Um, today, I'm going to talk about specialist characters, and my favorite, basically my favorites, and what I believe are the best designed uh, characters in this game, period. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go into details what is a specialist character a specialist character to me anyway is a character that is v unique very unique to the cast and not only are just not only and you specialist character are also characters that are definitely not easy to pick up they're definitely not easy to pick up and they um most of the time anyway um and definitely very 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 difficult to master as well um so of course that would be characters like for example let me give you an example ginyu definitely a specialist character so he, as you know difficult to pick up the reason being because ginyu force is <laughs> that's one of, that's the main reason I know that he also has body change so that's very unique as well and literally no other character has that even with all the DLC this game has had no one else has that and yeah so of course the summoning of the Ginyu Force that's unique and his level 3 body change so yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, so that's what makes him a specialist. Of course, that's not the only reason. Even the way his combos work <laughs> is very um, different because they all revolve around the Ginyu Force and the summonings and all that. Another hour class is a specialist as well because of Cybermen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, yeah. So that's it uh, for me. Probably. Beerus as well. I would count Beerus, you know, as a specialist. I would. Um, I honestly would. Yeah, I think I would. And obviously, Master Rage is one thing we don't really need to go to Marsh Street. So, <laughs> um, so, yeah, for me. So, yeah, I'm going to be ranking them all my favor. Like, I could, you could argue Super Birdie is kind of um, specialist as well, in a way. So, sort of S yeah sort of yeah you could honestly you really could um, yeah you really could <laughs> um, yeah so um, I'll go over my favourite well, I think my favourite specialist characters of course, excluding Devious, where really, he don't count. <laughs> um, because if he was, if he did count, if I were to count him as a specialist, you would know I put him first. Because Esperly is my guy <laughs> in this game. I love him. Um, but excluding him, I would say the specialist characters in this game. Oh yes, yeah, Amaso. Forgot about so He might count as well. I'm um, hit and Beerus. Definitely you. Um, there's quite a lot of few characters that I would say. Not more than I realised at first. Are quite specialist. So you've got Master Roshi. You have Freeze. I'm not sure about Freeze, honestly. Ginyu, yeah. Nappa, yeah. Again, with him, you can argue it. Baby. Hmm. Special baby specialist? I'm um, not really sure about that one. Um, yeah, that one's hard. Uh, we're just gonna leave it out. <laughs> Janemba could be, but nah, could be cooler. Um, easy to learn. Eh. I mean, yes and no. 
Yes, because you know he's. I wouldn't say he's hard. He definitely isn't. No, because you know he still does. He isn't your traditional character in a way. Even Kula has something unique to him. Even Kula does. Um, as all of this character is, this character is like what came at the end of season one. We're talking years ago at this point. So yeah, but even today. By today's standards, he has a full screen low, which, to my knowledge, no other character has, <laughs> really. Um, yeah, you got Kefler, Kefler's um thing. What's it called? Kefler's um ex Laviat goes quite a bit, for quite goes quite far, but it's not full screen. He actually has a full screen low, that gels with the vanish, by the way. Um, We don't even have to talk. And then he's got dive kicks. The only, I think, he, is he the only character in this game whose dive kicks are not only like overhead, but they are actually plus on block? I think he's the only one. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is. Goku Black has them, but they're not plus, and they don't, and they're not overhead. Blue Goku also has the um, dive kicks. But, you know, they're again, just like Goku Black, they're not overhead or um, plus on block. Who else has dive kicks? Flipping it. <laughs> Super Saiyan Vegeta technically does have one. But again, it's not, it's just a strictly combo thing. And again, it's not overhead or plus on block. This guy also has one. But his dive kick is strictly like. A knockdown thing or a combo thing. I think it does it over. I'm not even sure if it does, <laughs> but um, yeah. Mm. Now that MUY is actually now that MUY is on the screen, I wouldn't say he is. Even though he's definitely unique, in a way, I still wouldn't say. He's unique and not at the same time. <laughs> he's like every, he's like your standard character, but he's not at the same time because he does have some things that are unique. But I wouldn't say he's a specialist, no. Um, definitely Gotenks. I think Gotenks is definitely that, even though he's bugged. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say he's kind of um, up there. Piccolo, I would say he's a specialist too. In a way, yeah. Of course, much and boo. Yeah. So as I was, I was talking about Kula, but another thing that makes him especially, in my opinion, or could be, is the free H. Again, free H is a ability that lets you no other character has. It's unique only to Kula. So basically, a specialist is a specialist character is how unique they are and how unique their tools are and it's not and their abilities are not like too strong to the point where it breaks the game <laughs> that's basically what it is Mar Marius and Marcia definitely a character as well because he's definitely not easy to pick up definitely not um I wouldn't say so either um Marjorie, of course, Fat Toss, that flipping cartwheel that he does, I hate that move. <laughs> um, you've got the um, flipping when he sits on you, I hate, also hate that move. <laughs> um, that cost me, that has cost me up so many times. <laughs> um, you, I think that's it. Oh, the restents, can't forget about those. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, um, definitely special character because. This guy to definitely ain't easy. <laughs> Far from it. Um, you're gonna have to sit in the lab for ages. Similar to characters like S. Brody's kind of like that too. That's why I said S. Brody was kind of specialist, but I left him out because you know for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, Baby. That's why I said Baby could be argued as well. We know for a fact Napper Napper is you no know, Ginyu is definitely. 
Beerus, I think so as well. Like his orbs can be used for multiple things. Ogi, pressure, zoning, combos, like literally anything. Well, maybe not zoning. Maybe not zoning. <laughs> but uh, I don't know enough about Beerus, but his orbs is what makes, for me, is what makes him, is what makes him a specialist, pretty much. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's Beerus, that's all I can say. Tits, definitely, character. He's one of the only characters in this game that literally does not have a projectile. Literally does not have a projectile. And he has a way to like literally counter the system mechanics itself. So definitely not easy. Far from it, because of how different, because of how unique and different he is compared to literally everyone else, including DLC characters. So yeah, Go Tanks as well. Um, yeah, I would say Go Tanks. Um, maybe. Um, now that I think about it, you've got Ghost Oki, which is definitely unique. Doesn't really play like any other character, in all honesty. Um, got that spinning move he does. He's got his loops. Definitely. Yeah, I could argue. You could argue Goatings is a specialist. No, I think about it. Is anyone else here? Oh, Master Witch, of course. <laughs> Definitely Master Witch. He probably might be my favorite specialist. Not counting Esperity, of course. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, the reason being is because I think every single one of his tools... Could be used... Like, even today... Like, in 2023, people... I still think there's still a lot of untapped potential with this character. That's just me. You know, I know nothing about. I'm not a Master Worship player myself, but after watching, like, a YouTube channel basically about Master Worship analyzing the characters. And legend the characters are normals, specials, supers, team building assists, all those stuff. Basically a guide. <laughs> um, but an in-depth one, like going to specific detail and stuff. After watching that, you realise how much potential this character has. Untapped potential. Um, and um, the stuff he can pull off with, like, just with all the tools he has like you know what this is what I'm going to do go to this show it would be easier <laughs> um, yeah I just think that this character specifically is like such a cool addition to the game I like I think Legends really did a really damn good job with this character I really do believe that. Um, reason being, again, because of his tools. Like, look at this. He's got this. Um, can't think of anyone else that has something like this. Um, full screen cross up. And I think um, this isn't um, unique only to him as Adult Gohan or something similar to this in a way. But Toe Orb. Like, like, come on! <laughs> I do I to this day, I still don't know what this is used for. Outside of combos, of course, I really don't know what this is used for. This character's cool. <laughs> um, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, you got total back kick. No one else has this. Literally, a an attack that's specifically used for. A, an attack that's specifically for an opponent that's behind you. Yeah. So, um. 
Yeah, masterful leap again. By far. His def probably his defining trait. <laughs> what he's famous for. Not having a super dash. You have. I know at first it's like difficult to get into. But I'm just telling you this right now. <laughs> once you actually like, get past it. The super dash factor. And once you sit down and actually learn. The super dash. I mean blur. <laughs> Masterful leap. You will see that this is, has very good properties. It. You will learn that this is very good. So you got that's R2 on its own, down R2 does a little bit of that. You got, I don't know what that's called, we're not gonna, we've got free, free R2, I don't know, <laughs> it's called. And then you got, of course, you got this, which again, similar to, this, to the uh, Masterful Leap, can be directed. You got that, you got this, <laughs> you have that. <laughs> All immune to key blasts, by the way. It's just characters just cool. He just has a lot of tools that can be messed around with. Just cool, man. What this move? Not really that unique, honestly. Kind of a lariat type move in a way. Not really unique in itself. This, I would definitely say, is kind of unique. <laughs> Definitely, uh, yeah, definitely unique. This, again, this is definitely unique. Wicked move, actually. Flipping egg. <laughs> this move is ridiculous. But um, got the commas. Nothing special. I mean, it's kind of unique now that I think about it. Single hit and beam, which was the only characters that are off the top of my head, is. Esperly, Base Goku, and Gogeta Blue. And I think that's it. <laughs> I think everyone else has more hit and beam. I really can't think of anyone else, aside from those four. Master Roshi, Gogeta Blue, Base Goku, and DBS Broly. There's, I don't think there's anyone else. But yeah, even this does have some uniqueness to it, aside from it being, you know, one hit. <laughs> it's also kind of small. Compared to your average beam, it's tiny. But again, another thing. Oh, that <laughs> the hit stun of it is kind of massive compared to beams. Can't do that. Can't really combo off your beams. Anyone that's seen that little damage that you can get, like what? Six point three k is solo in the corner by himself. Without me talk, that then you then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, what's next? Thunder shock. So this move again. Ain't no one else have this. <laughs> Ain't no one else have this move. Can name it that way, and he can name it ups. And this is a counts as a grab, by the way. So someone gets hit, someone jumps. They have to hold it. They can't block it. Look. No. Jump, guard all. What can I say? <laughs> um, jump and splits have already done that. Oh, he also has this. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so yeah. Come on, grab. Hey, you could combo anywhere on screen and it counts as a um it's a normal by the way which is kind of um unique definitely with the only other character that comes to mind is Jiren that has a single button grab really what am I trying to do here what was I doing again um Would you be crazy if you can cancel this by with by vanishing? <laughs> I thought you could. That's why I was trying to vanish there, but it's fine. Another thing makes this character so cool. Again, even is um evil containment. I know 
it's not used much, but it's still cool to see. But Freezer blocked it, unfortunately, <laughs> just to stop it from blocking. It's very cool. It's not used much, sure, but the fact that he can do something like that is pretty cool. I just think this character is really cool. <laughs> I really do think so. Um, combos are cool because of how, because of the first, because of how much tools he's got. One and two, because of how unique those tools are. That's one thing why his combos are cool as well. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Which is, you know, immune to keybars. And you can do it. I think. Yeah. Cover is really nice, look at that. Pretty hard to burn. And it can, like. You know. So, yeah, good. character's cool. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's all basically what I wanted to say. Um, Master Roshi is probably my favourite of them all. All the specialist characters you can think of, I think Master Roshi is probably my favourite. Not counting as Brody, of course. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just think the character's really cool. Um, oh, speaking of, since Kid Buu's on the, the right screen, Kid Buu could actually be a specialist as well. Because of how, um, weird <laughs> his normals are in a way yeah I guess you could say that uh, uh. yeah um, cool character um definitely um if you love master roshi i definitely do recommend playing the character yeah getting into it might be a little scary at first since he has no super dash and all that and because his tools are just like harder to figure out how to use them the better how to use them is a little bit tricky at first but i do recommend picking them up i'm telling you you will love him <laughs> because i do and i'm not a roshi player that's the thing i'm not but whenever i go in the lab i go in training mode and i play this character for not even long like 10 20 minutes max i'm having a blast it's already way more fun than i don't know hopping in ranked and playing lab coat <laughs> or the fusions because i'm sorry i don't know i'm sorry for anyone who actually enjoys those characters but i don't <laughs> I, I i i definitely don't um but master roshi I'd give Arxis um wait a minute. I just remembered when I gave her um I think I mentioned Legends as well. I think I did. Can't even remember, but yeah. Um sorry about that if I did. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna give props to like fighters the fighters team and the um or Arxis, whoever's in charge of making the characters well done for Master Roshi because they did you did well <laughs> you, you definitely did well with this with this one um, very unique very fun and he isn't too strong to the point where he's breaking the game <coughs> lab coat <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah um But yeah, the thing is, I, the funny thing is, I don't even think the fusions are all broken as people see. Is um, just a little tweak here and there, and they're completely fine. Because the lab coat has already been nerfed. That's the funny part. Um, quite heavily actually, and she's still the best character in the game. So it's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, Yeah, <laughs> like if you play master, if you want to play master, actually, think this is probably the best team for him. Maybe 
I'm not sure, I could be wrong, I don't know anything. But um I think it's this one. I might have to check that channel with that guy's channel again. Just to make sure. But um <laughs> Yeah. This character's cool. Awesome. Um Yeah. <laughs> um, character's awesome. Um, great. Probably not my favorite. Um, it is fun as well, definitely. But Master Roshi is, is this. Master Roshi is just the perfect example of a unique character done right. <laughs> Pretty much. Incredibly fun. Incredibly unique as well really can't be compared to any character he's that different in my opinion um and again not too strong and not too underwhelming that's the word i was looking for <laughs> um but um yeah <laughs> that's it just wanted to talk about this because you know Because I feel like the most fun characters in this game are the characters that are not only DLC characters, because I've spoken about that already, but the characters that are the most unique. And the characters that are the most unique do happen to be DLC characters, really, in all, in all fairness, honestly. Like Master Roshi, DLC. <laughs> uh, Love coat as much as I hate her. She not only is she a DLC, she definitely is. She does see stuff that no other character can. As much as I hate her. <laughs> um, even base Vegeta, in a way. Sort of, <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> base with you. That's where you already know. Um, grabs, um, it's grabs, even the way his grabs so you is kind of different. You have his normals are fine, I guess. Um, his normals are unique, definitely. Um, 2L, for example, that's another one. His 5L is flipping. Um, <laughs> unique in itself a 10 frame what a 10 frame light that goes that has the range of a medium um he has um the multiple stumps <laughs> a level the only character in the game he's level 3 actually boosts his damage so yeah DBS Pony man, <laughs> unique, definitely. Baby of course, combos, key brass. Do you encounter in the entire game? Who has the assist still? Again, uniqueness. <laughs> um and Janemba as well, again the only character in the game if I could be wrong. I could be wrong about this, but I think he's the only character in the game who's J2H. He's 2H in the air, is anti air. Most characters in the game, yeah, 2H is only anti air while they're on the ground. His is the only one who's, J, who's 2H is actually, who's J2H is actually involved, is anti air. I think he's the only one that's like that, <laughs> I think so. And his counter as well way it works I think it can be done in the air as well which I don't remember any other counter being done in the air one that doesn't cost a meter anyway like who has a, who has a counter here Jiren his counter can only be done on the ground I think Vegito as well 
Uh, actually, no, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's another character. Um, but of course, their cameras work differently. His is a physical one. Genembus is a um. Uh, projectile and assist one that his one doesn't actually count as assist Janemba's does so um yeah Janemba again wicked character um I think they I think Leathers also did a great job with him the Hellgates as well definitely uniqueness he, uh, his key blast I forgot about his key blast the way his key blast work as well is also very unique um in a way oh it just looks it just looks unique, actually. Um, what else? Phantom Shift, that's a good one. <laughs> like, like, he's got unique stuff about him, he definitely does. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Uh, it's me rambling off. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, thank you <laughs> for watching. And, um, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. So yeah, take care of yourselves and goodbye.